Hey guys, what's up? Um, got a quick video today. Been away snowboarding, so I didn't get a chance to work on the cars this weekend. So I thought I might do a garage tour instead. So I'll just show you the, some of the tools and a quick overview. It's probably more of a side note so I can look back in the future. But also, just want to say this isn't all of my stuff. Most of my parts and two other cars are back home in Sydney. So this is just what I've accumulated over the last year living here in Melbourne. So I'll just start outside of the house. So this is just a normal two car garage. And I've got my V35 Skyline and my EG Civic, which you've probably seen working on. At the front here, I've got my Ryobi pressure washer. Um, this one's just a cheap one I use for washing parts in the car. Got some aircon parts for the Civic and the old discs. And then coming up, I've got my old tail lights, cooking stove, tennis racket. Not that great at tennis. Uh, some more camping stuff, some more lights as well. One set they sent me was broken, so they sent me another lot. And then I've just got um, some carpet in there, indicators, some fuel jerry cans, um, my old cane and filter in there, some gardening stuff, the old lawnmower, not this lawnmower, this lawnmower, my golf clubs. If you're, if you're interested in golf, let me know. I can um, show you what clubs I got. And then I got my uh, trolley cart here. So I just got my screwdrivers in on the end there, a dustpan, a couple microfibers if I'm just cleaning some parts. These are like dirty ones. Some wood for like chocking wheels or jacking stuff up. And then I got my rags and cable ties in here. I like this one because it's got this uh, measurement on the side here. Here, this is um, a storage shelf from Bunnings and I've just turned it into a bench. Uh, so here I just got a camping chair and then this, I have um, like spare interior parts and things I've just removed from the cars. Now I like this bench here next to the car because you can just take parts off and work on them rather than having to walk across the main bench. Now I've just got my golf buggy down there and then spare nuts and bolts like interior clips and then this one's interior screws and stuff. And then I just got self tappers and washers and nut and bolt kit and then various nuts and bolt sets that I've accumulated, brad nails, random spring and then here I've got my electrical connectors, fuses, heat shrink and then this is just a little kit for my Dremel, some spare thread tape there. And I've got this camping table. Sometimes I fold this out and use it for washing parts on with the pressure washer. And my toolbox. So I'll just show you through here. So I've got my um, impact sockets. And below it, I've got a quarter inch set, just a cheap one. My pressure gauge, it's a bit messy in the top here socket for undoing axles. This is a 3.8 set, just another cheap one, some gloves, safety glasses, 3.8 extensions, just random sockets here that I've got, half inch ratchet, and then I've got some torque, torque spits that I can put on, and some universal drives and then I got a deep socket set in 3 8 and half inch and a half inch breaker bar and my air nozzle you know, just got it sitting on the side earmuffs 
And then on the side there, I just got a spirit level and I just put my clamps around there and a couple of woodworking clamps there. And then in here, I've got all my snap ring pliers and seal picks. So this one, you can actually change the tips for different stuff you're working on. These ones are just fixed. Moving along. This one's just a bits and pieces. So I've got some small shifters, small files, and I keep my markers in here as well. Pencils. I got all my punches, pin punches. And this is like for bodywork punch with different tips on it. And I've just got some wire brushes in here for cleaning stuff. And my Stanley knife. This one, I put all my Allen keys that I accumulate and tools from buying stuff. And then this set. This is half Allen key in metric and then half Torx bits as well. Here I put all my silicon and tape that I've got and glue. This one's just for pliers. Here this one I've got all my spanners. So I got all my um, combination spanners and I've also got a metric set um, of ratcheting spanners these are really handy and then this side I've got all my imperial combination spanners and then on top I've got a set of metric offset uh, ring spanners these are really good so I'm doing tight big tight stuff this drawer I use is all my measurement stuff so Tape measure, ruler, um, for gapping, tool for measuring the gap on spark plugs, and I've got some feeler gauges as well I use for that, and then some long needle nose pointed pliers, I've got a pipe, pipe cutter, and then some fine like watch, watch style uh, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Magnet for retrieving bolts. And a mirror for, this one's telescopic. So you can extend it to look at things where you can't actually see. And then I just got a scraper and some wood chisels. And then in here, I've just got my set of anias. I've also got a trim removal tool as well. This is the last for the top section. So I keep all my hammers, soft hammer, claw hammer, ball pane hammer, and I've got a filter removal tool, files, it's really full, big shifter, um, sheet, sheet metal cutter, shears, multi grips, and then I've got a big dry bar here as well. And i got like a, a wrecking removal tool as well, I use for prying stuff. And uh, a hand saw that I have got a, a blade on for cutting metal. And then I've got a ball joint removal tool here as well. Here I've got uh, pop rivets. And I got spare blades. And then in here I got a bolt and stud removal tool and pop rivet gun. And I've got an impact driver here. This is really handy for removing bolts. So you can just change the oh it's really good for removing like screws that are stuck, especially screws that are stuck. Especially um, like your the ones that hold your brake discs on. In the kit on the side there, I've got a tap and die set. Um, just a, not super comprehensive, but just metric stuff that I'm using on Japanese cars. I got a 
paintbrush in here I use for touch up on paint chips. And then in here I got a nut cert tool. This is really handy, just a super cheap, super cheap water one. Next, this is my electrical drawer. It's a bit messy. So I've got like a cheap, this is what I started with, just crimp um, tool with the connectors. And then I got wire strippers. This was my old multimeter, it's not that great. And my new one here, it's a lot better. And I've got some twin core wire, no strippers, solder, a test light, some more wire, um, some random terminals that I've used, some tape, fuse holder, some fuses. Um, and then I also got like a a de-pinning set as well. That's really handy for de-pinning plugs. I forgot, and I have a, a soldering iron here as well. Continuing on, my bottom drawer, I've got my drill bits and wood drill bits and all my cutting and grinding discs and a spare bench grinding disc. Here, these are like uh, magnetic sockets for putting screws in, like self-tapping screws. And then uh, a kit, a screwdriver kit for going in the drill. Christmas tree bit. A wire wheel set to go on the drill. And then different drill bits there that go on like a, a flexible screwdriver really good for interior parts and then I've got a hole saw kit that's really handy for mounting stuff and doing body work and then at the bottom I keep my power tools in here so I've got a Ryobi angle grinder and drill and impact driver so they usually stay down there and I got a spare charger if you're just working at home on your car, they're absolutely perfect. No issues with the quality. Love them. Then moving over, I got this um, stool that also folds out into a creeper. I got that from Bunnings, that was really cheap. Here I just got camping stuff, so tents, and that's more camping stuff. And then I've got um, seats and fabric and a, a parcel tray up there for Civic. Here I just got some scrap bits of metal I can weld, some papered bits for exhaust, some wood off cuts. Then below here I've got my super cheap auto compressor. It's a 135 litre per minute. I think it's 220 litre tank. And I just got their hose on here water trap as well and I just showed you the the nozzle that I got with it um, works super well haven't done any painting with it yet but it fills up really quick much faster than my old one in Sydney and then jack stands so started with two and then I got another two if you're doing stuff on your brakes you're gonna need jack stands front and rear and I just got a, a cheap jack here um, it's just their low profile one. Usually it comes on sale for about $100 and I just use that bit of wood there to jack the cars up with. So future video there. Just got the steering wheel off at the moment while I'm getting a roadworthy done. Here this is just a cheap Azito bench grinder. I use it mostly with the wire wheel for cleaning up bolts and rust off stuff. And then this one I use for like sharpening chisels or knives or grinding stuff down. It's not very powerful. If I spend my money again, I would definitely get the bigger one. It stalls out very easily. And then below the bench, I've just got a, a Zito drop saw. And then next to that, I've got my welder, which is a uni mig. 120 amp uh, MIG. I've just got it set up with gasless wire at the moment and that's worked fine for me for the small jobs I needed to do. So I'll probably look at getting a welding cart later 
and get some gas. Reader spare tires and a oil oil tray and a funnel for oil. Next, I got my heat gun. And then I got a press tool and a brad nailer in there and uh, my Dremel. And then in the back, I just got a wood saw and some hoses and seals and bits and pieces in that one. It's got a small bench vise as well. This is handy, I didn't really get the big one because I um, didn't really need have any need for it. Um, but in the future, I might get one just for the anvil part on the back here just for flattening metal and stuff like that out. As for this bench, and it, um, it's actually just a storage rack from Bunnings, if you're interested. And you can buy this sheet, they don't sell it in the racking section, but if you go into the wood section, you can buy this MDF sheet and it fits in there perfectly. And then I've just bought a short extension later and extended the bench a bit longer. It's cheaper, it's much cheaper to do this than to actually buy the workbenches they sell. Next, got my Ryobi light and my charger. This light's really handy, highly recommend. And I've got a power board here and another power board over there, depending on what I'm working on. Here comes to my storage, so got my welding helmet up there and spare tips and gloves. Behind I just got my old back seat there. This is just some work stuff for testing water. I just got an uh, extension lead set up here so I can move it around the shop. Plugged into that power board. This shelves are all my cleaning stuff and I keep my polish and tire shine and then my clean microfibers for cleaning and sponges and chamois. Below that, this one's all more my chemicals. So I've just got my tape and glue and grease and some copper anti-seize and then these bags for storing parts. Brake cleaner, rust converter, got some fuel cleaner, WD, some contact adhesive, some alcohol, wax and grease, and then my gloves and hand cleaner. Then this is my paint shelf, so all my, my spray cans. And then at the bottom, this is all uh, my fuel, oil, coolant, my waste drum there. And I forgot to mention under there, I've got my um, guard roller, fender roller, whatever you call it. And then the last one here, it's got some car parts here. My paint gun, some hose, some drop sheets for protecting stuff. And down here, I've got my polisher and my respirator. Now I've got some polishing pads there, headlight restoration kit. It's my timing light. A sander with all my different grits of sandpaper for bodywork. And then these are all like for cleaning bits that go on your drill for scrubbing carpet and then my headlight polishing kit there some spare brushes and then these brushes are handy for touching up paint some rust converter there for bodywork got another spray gun there that's a stand for the spray gun and then hot glue gun and then this is a, uh, a dent removal kit it works okay, it's not great. It's like one of those ones with the guns that you pull. We got some wire, and then this is all metal polish and uh, polish. This is one I use for polishing my wheels, and then this like a racing disc for removing decals and stickers. I think it's called a caramel wheel. And then this is I use. I wear this if I've got some work clothes on or if I'm getting really dirty or welding um, that's just a cheap apron I got from Bunnings it works really well 
here I got spare parts you can see wheel nuts, belt, filters, thermostat, hoses um, that's a shifter and then the tool kit some more lug nuts my ball joints, I need to do some ball joints on the skyline below that, this is all civic parts, spare civic parts mirrors there and then I've just got my esky and my bucket there and I keep my spare cardboard there for painting or working on dirty stuff there and I've just got my line trimmer and my leaf blower there just a quick overview on the cars my EG Civic B16A swapped high compression for rods, pistons, cams just been tidying this thing up if you want to see more about it I've got lots of videos on my channel already Type R EK Type R interior that uh, other steering wheels normally on it Buddy Club wheels next my Skyline, my daily, my V35. This is a VQ35DE. Just got a cold air intake, plenum spacer, catch can, catback exhaust, NPR PF1s, just some minor cosmetic stuff done to it. And the backs of each of them. And the interior on the Skylines is pretty basic, just with a V36 steering wheel. Okay, I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know down in the comments if you, you enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.